All right, now that we have our microcontroller connected and our VCC and ground connections all set, we can get started and connect a few components on the board and run a few example codes to see how our synth actually sounds or could sound like. I'm going to be using a potentiometer that we explained how to connect earlier and a switch and a socket. I'm going to place them here like that just because I want to show you how they're soldered into the board and how we're going to be interacting them. We can actually run a quick test with only these three components and later on build a complete interface. All right, so first thing first, I'm going to solder my potentiometer and I am only going to be soldering these three pins. One, two, three. This is the pin we interact with in the center and then VCC and ground on the sides. These two pins are standoffs. The reason for them is to keep the potentiometer in place. Because we're moving and turning the potentiometer when we perform with it, um, it might lose connection. And that's why we need to make these two connections inside our board. But for now, because we're just playing around and looking into what could um, the synth sound like, we want to have the option to take things out when we want to. And if we just solder these three, it's actually fairly easy to disconnect the potentiometer. If we connect all five, it makes it a bit harder. Not impossible, but it's easier if we just have these three connected. So let's get started by simply putting the potentiometer here and getting our soldering iron ready. Very good. So now I have my potentiometer connected. Let's run a quick continuity test between this pin and this pin. Very good. So there is a connection between the two. We can also see that this is ground connected to ground and this is VCC connected to VCC. Good. Now let's get the socket connected in 45 degrees and the pins that we absolutely need to connect are one and two. These two are not needed at the moment. Again, they're going to make a stronger connection, but for now, because we just want to play around and look at what is possible, we can simply Ignore them. Good. Now we have our socket connected properly and our potentiometer. All right, now let's connect the switch. We have two kinds of switches. This is an on off on and this is an on off. Both of them would connect in the center like so. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to first of all put some solder on my tip and I'm going to fill in one of these pads like that. Now I'm going to stick my switch in like this and I'm going to warm up this pad until the switch jumps right in and I'm going to hold it like this. The reason we do it this way is because these can be really fiddly. If you just put them, they're going to fall, they'll move. Uh, if we put a bit of solder on one of the pads, I just use the first one. And if we just put a bit of solder on it and then we warm it up and we push it in, then we can make sure that it actually stands still on all its four legs. So I can show you what I mean. These little things here, so the plastic, the red thing, 
extends and, and they're like little legs. We need to make sure that these are straight because if they're not straight, we're going to have issues later on. This is looking pretty good. And once I have this joint connected, I can obviously do the rest. This is looking pretty good. Okay. Great, so now I have my switch, my potentiometer, and my socket connected. This should be a digital pin, this should be an analog pin, and this should be an output. So let's grab a yellow wire, so number 76, and I want to connect it directly to 19, which is here. So let's make this connection, 76 to 19. I'm gonna put it like this. I have a connection between the 76 and 19. This is my output. Now let's connect number 78. Number 78 should go into an analog pin. So I am looking at 30 to 43. So the closest one is 30. I'm going to connect it right here in 30. And the last one is a digital pin. I need to connect it to 15. So that is 80 connected to 15. And voila, we have a digital pin connected on pin 15, connected to our switch. We have our potentiometer on 78 connected to pin 30, which is analog. And we have pin 19 connected to 76, which is our socket. Now, one last thing before we continue to our code is that this actually has two positions. So we just now connected 80, which is this. But how do we connect this position? And the way to do that is simply to connect a wire from here. So this arrow here indicates that there is a connection between this pad and this pad. So all you need to do if you want to connect uh, an on off on switch is to connect another wire to another digital pin. So let's say pin 14 here, we would just make this connection like that. And we could also do it in the other side, obviously, so it shouldn't really bother us on, on the front. But this is how you would connect this bit here. So the additional um, on off. So we have on off to here and then we have on off to here. And this is connected through this pin here, this pad. All right, let's continue to the code.